Yo, what is up guys? It is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy back again today with another fantasy football video. Today we are doing week one running back sit, start, start, sit decisions for the week one of the 2019 fantasy football season. Before I start the video, I'd like to ask if you could please go down below, click that subscribe button because not only is it going to help me, it's also going to help you because I already helped you guys dominate the draft if you haven't been watching. You didn't watch my content during the draft, it's fine, because I'm still going to help you dominate during the season with all of these amazing videos. So click that subscribe button while you're down below, clicking that subscribe button. Also, follow my Twitter at NotoriousFNTSY for updates during the games, before the games, everything. I retweet a lot of shit on Twitter that is going to be useful for you. Week 1, running back, sit starts, let's get into it. First game, Rams at Panthers. Starts, these should seem pretty clear to you. Todd Gurley and Christian McCaffrey. Two running backs drafted in the first three rounds of your fantasy league. Christian McCaffrey, a guy that went as a top three pick in your league, most likely, unless you're playing with some crazy motherfuckers. It should be pretty obvious. Gurley, not on a snap count this game. Am I sure that that's entirely true? No, because Sean McVay said that during the Super Bowl, and Todd Gurley didn't do shit. But I think Todd Gurley should have a pretty solid game this week. Same with Christian McCaffrey. This should be a high-scoring game. I think Gurley and McCaffrey will get their work and finish his top 10 backs this week. For me, the sit, Darrell Henderson, pretty obvious. Don't start Darrell Henderson unless Todd Gurley is really injured and it shows that he's injured and they're using Darrell Henderson a lot or that he's actually injured and he's out for a game. Next game, we got the Redskins at the Eagles. NFC East matchup. Start Jordan Howard for the Eagles. Now, oh, Nick, why'd you tell me to draft Miles Sanders if you wanted uh, Jordan, ha if Jordan Howard's the start? The reason why I said that is because Miles Sanders is going to be the starter a couple weeks in the season, but right now, it's probably going to be Jordan Howard getting a majority of the touches, so I would start Jordan Howard in this game early in the season. Darius Geis, I'm starting him. I'm kind of nervous about that if I'm starting him. He is going to be the RB1 of the team, but how much will the Redskins how well are the Redskins going to even be able to play this game? Probably not that well. The Eagles defense is going to eat them up. I'd still start Darius Geis if I had to, but I don't love it. We're sitting Miles Sanders because, like I said, we're going to wait a couple weeks into the season before we really get to see Miles Sanders' true self. And then we're going to see bench AP because we don't know how much work he's going to be getting this game. And we're also benching Chris Thompson. He's not on the screen, but we got to see how much work he gets as well. Third game here is the Falcons versus the Vikings in the Dome. Starting... Dalvin Cook and Devontae Freeman. Pretty obvious. Two two guys that were drafted in the top three or four rounds. Dalvin Cook, obviously a second round guy. Devontae Freeman around the third or fourth round guy in your fantasy football draft. You're starting both of them. You drafted them highly. You're going to play them. This should be a high scoring matchup, I believe. I think Ryan or Kirk or and Kirk will probably throw around two touchdowns. Should be a pretty high scoring game. I like Cook and Freeman in this game. You're going to be benching Ito Smith, Alexander Madison. We need to see how involved they are on the team. Ito Smith obviously going to be very useful if Devontae Freeman gets hurt. Same thing with Madison if Cook gets hurt, but Madison could be more involved than we thought, but I still wouldn't start him in this game. Next game here, we got a division game again. AFC East, Bills at the New York Jumbo Jets. Starters, we're going to be starting Le'Veon Bell, pretty clear, should be pretty clear to you. You draft him in the first or second round, you're playing him. Will this be an amazing game for Le'Veon Bell? Probably not. I think that the Bills have a solid defense, not a sol amazing defense, but a pretty solid defense, and they may be able to shut him down. How much work will he really get? We need to see, but you're still starting him. Devin Singletary, I'd start him, but with a lot of caution. He'd have to be a flex option. I don't necessarily know how involved Gore and Yeldon are going to be. They obviously shift LaShawn McCoy the fuck out of there straight to another team. So, Devin Singletary, you can start him, but proceed with caution. And we're going to be sitting Frank Gore and TJ Yeldon. I almost call him TY Yeldon. TJ Yeldon, because we don't know how involved those guys are going to be either. And personally, I think Frank Gore and TJ Yeldon just hurt Devin Singletary and will never really have any fantasy football value. Next game, we have the Chiefs at the Jaguars. You're going to be starting Damian Williams out of the Chiefs. Now, what we do know is that LaShawn McCoy now on the Chiefs and Darwin Thompson. How much work will each of those guys get? How much will that impact Damian Williams? Probably a decent amount, but Damian Williams should be able to still be scoring those touchdowns. He's a pass catching back. He'll be able to catch those balls. The Chiefs are going to be scoring a lot. Damian Williams will probably be on the field for a lot of these scoring opportunities. So I like Damian Williams to be a starter this week. Leonard Fournette, a guy I hate to draft. But I will start him, obviously. When he's on the field, he should be solid. This will be a high-scoring game. I think Leonard Fournette will get a lot of work, some goal line work. I like Leonard Fournette in this game. And we're sitting Darwin Thompson and LaShawn McCoy because we don't know how much work they're getting. And I'd rather have them on my bench figuring that out rather than in my starting lineup. 
Next game, we have the Ravens at my Miami Dolphins. We're going to be starting Mac Ingram. Why are we starting Mark Ingram? Because this is going to be a run-heavy game. I think Lamar Jackson will have a good game, but I think that they're going to try to just slow, just run the clock out, get the fuck out of there with a win at Miami. Do I think Miami is going to win? No, but I want them to win. But I think Mark Ingram is going to be the solid back for the first couple of weeks. If he ends up getting hurt or playing like shit, Justice Hill, is going to, who's a sit, is going to emerge past him. The other start on the Miami side, Kenyon Drake. Would I start him in a deeper league? Yes, but proceed with caution. Coach said, oh, we're going we're gonna to use him a lot. He's going to run the ball a lot, and I fucking hope so. But if that doesn't come true, then we're, you're going to get fucked starting Kenyon Drake on, a Miami, on the Miami Dolphins. So I am worried about Kenyon Drake this whole year and in this game, but I would be willing to start him. Sits, Kalen Balaj, because he really won't have that much impact on the team, in my opinion, while Kenyon Drake is on the field. Justin Justice Hill, I almost called him Justin Hill. Justice Hill also is a sit because we don't know how much work he's going to be getting in these games. If Mark Ingram was to go down, like I said, it's going to be the Justice Hill train. Next game, Titans at the Cleveland Browns. You're going to be starting Nick Chubb. You're going to make your opponent rub your Chubb because Nick Chubb is going to skull fuck the Titans defense. Nick Chubb is going to run a, a straight up train on them. It's going to be glorious. You drafted Nick Chubb. You get that week one. Amazing start for you. I love Nick Chubb this week. Could be a top five back. Definitely top 10 this week. Sit. We're going to be sitting Deion Lewis and Derrick Henry, both Tennessee backs. I think that the Titans honestly probably just fucking lied to us all offseason. Oh, Derrick Henry's going to be great, God, Nick. You fucking retard. Derrick Henry's going to be amazing. Derrick Henry is not Good, guys. He is going to not get the work that you think he's going to get. The Titans screw him out of the work that he should be getting. He's going to be running the ball not as much as you want. You're just going to hate it. And then Deion Lewis is just going to be eating. And then you're going to be like, oh, you're still going to be like just pissed off because neither of them are going to score enough points to be a guy you wanted to have started. Next game, Colts at Chargers. You're going to be starting Marlon Mack for the Colts. I think while... He would have been better off with luck, I think. Jacoby Brissett can definitely hand the ball off to him. He's got that skill set. He can hand the ball off. I think this should be a game where the Chargers win, but I think that the Colts should be able to play pretty solid, so I like Marlon Mack in this game. Both Chargers backs, Eckler and Justin Jackson, I believe, are worth a start this game. Eckler, definitely safer because he's the pass-catching back, should be able to easily score 10 points. Justin Jack in a PPR format. Justin Jackson, on the other hand, you're going to be relying on more on the running game in that situation. I do think that Justin Jackson could potentially hop in the end zone. He would hop his way into the goddamn end zone. And I think he will probably have a solid game. So I'm willing to start him as my fliggity fliggity flex. All right, boys and we're and girls. Girls, you know, there's a couple girls watching this. Sits. We're going to be sitting Naheem Hines. Uh, because I don't know how much work he's going to get with Marlon Mack. We got to figure that out. And then Melvin Gordon, obviously, because he's holding out like a bitch. Next game, Bengals at Seahawks starts Joe Mixon. Obviously, you're starting him. You drafted him early. Same thing with Chris Carson. Now, Joe Mixon's dealing with the fact that his line sucks. His team sucks, but he'll still be solid in my opinion. I love Joe Mixon this year. No matter how shit the, de- hit the offense is, he'll still eat. Him and Boyd will probably have pretty solid games this week. And then Chris Carson, like I said, the bell cow. Not the bell cow, but like the back on the team, he's going to be getting a shit ton of touches. Him and Penny are probably going to get a bunch of touches. I think Carson will score. This should be an easy matchup for Carson. I'm sitting Penny, but I would be willing to start him in a super deep league where you have like two flexes. It's a 14-team league. I'd start Penny, but I wouldn't love it because I don't know how much work he's necessarily going to get. I do love Chris Carson, though, and Joe Mixon in this matchup. Next game, 49ers at... The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is the matchup I'm looking for. I'm waiting for. I'm going to be sitting there watching Red Zone, waiting for this game to start. I don't even know. I think it might be at 425, I believe. Our EST. This is going to be a game, the game of the century here. (laughs) Not really. The game of the century is probably that Rams-Chiefs game from last year. I think I would start Matt Burita in this game and Tevin Coleman. I think that the 49ers are going to end up losing this game. It's going to be a throwing heavy game, but I think at the beginning, Burita will get enough rushes for it to be worth it throughout the whole game. And then Tevin Coleman should be able to be getting that pass catching work from Jimmy G and should be pretty solid. Now we're going to sit the Bucks running backs because who knows how good Peyton Barber will be. Who knows if Rojo is even good enough to play. I thought his knee was, his knee is fucked up. So I don't really know. I wouldn't really want to start them. Next game, we got the Giants at the Cowboys. NFC East rivalry game here. You're going to be starting Saquon and Zeke. I probably didn't even have to fucking tell you that. I probably didn't even have to cover this game because of how obvious that was. Saquon 
Uh, Zeke will probably have the better game because I think the Cowboys are going to win. But Saquon Barkley will obviously have a pretty solid game. Regardless, Saquon is one of the better backs in the league. Should be pretty solid in fantasy football this season. We are going to be sitting Tony Pollard and Alfred Morris because with Zeke is eaten on the field. You know what I'm saying? You don't need Pollard or Alfred Morris. Next game, we got Lions at Cardinals. You're going to be flying up double Johnson here. Carry on Johnson and David Johnson. David Johnson could be a top five back this week. He's going to be running the ball up the Lions' ass. He's going to be catching the ball a million times, probably 10 times he'll get thrown the ball. They're going to be running an offense that looks nothing like the preseason, apparently. That's what I'm hearing. It's going to look nothing like the preseason. Maybe they'll actually look good. Kyler Murray, maybe 5'6", needs to stand on that money so he can see over the line. But David Johnson, obviously, ain't that far away from the line, so it should be pretty solid. Carry on. If Matt Patricia gets that pencil that's in his ear out of his ass and actually runs the ball correctly, Carry on Johnson should have a solid week this week. The next game, we have the Steelers at the New England Patriots, the Sunday night football matchup of the century. We have the starters, or our starts, James Conner for the the Steelers. He's going to have an amazing game. I think that they're going to try to lock down Juju the Patriots and Stephon Gilmore are going to try to lock down Mr. Juju Smith-Schuster. Will it work? Probably, but will Juju be terrible this game? No. James Conner is going to run a lot all over the Patriots and have a great game. And a lot of people are like, oh, Nick, you fucking idiot. Jalen Samuels is going to get the ball half the time. It's a, it's a running back by committee, Nick, you fucking idiot. No, it's not a running back by goddamn committee. James Conner is the sole back. He got hurt at the end of last year. Then it was the Jalen Samuels show. But J- James Conner is back and better than ever and is going to skull fuck the Patriots defense. On the Patriots, though, Sony Michelle is a start. I like Sony Michelle this week against the Steelers. Some people, well, let me let me sit him. No, don't fucking sit him. You drafted him highly. He'll be pretty solid. James White, the pass catching back on the team, should also see some solid work this game. And we're going to be sitting Jalen Samuels, Rex Burkhead, Damian Harris. Sit them all, and you're going to be fine. Now, we are on to the Monday night games. The first of the Monday night games, Texans at Saints. You're going to be starting Duke Johnson, obviously, the Duke Earl of the Johnson, uh, the junior, also Duke Johnson Jr. He's going to be great this game, I believe. I think that the Texans and Saints should be a high-scoring game. Duke's the pass catching back, should get some solid points there. Alvin Kamara, obviously, in your lineup. You drafted him top three, most likely. You're playing Alvin Kamara. Latavius Murray is a flex option that I'm willing to start, should get around 8 to 10 points. And then sitting Carlos Hyde, because we don't know how much work he's really going to get on the Texans. Next game, we got the f- and the next and the final game, Broncos at Raiders at 10 o'clock EST. I don't know why it's so late. I'm gonna fucking pass out watching this game, but I I think I'm gonna pass out because Josh Jacobs is gonna do so good, and I, I own Josh Jacobs. Philip Lindsay and Josh Jacobs are obviously starts here. You drafted them highly. You're gonna play them. We're gonna sit Rolls Royce because we don't know how much impact he's gonna have on the the offense. I think eventually, down, later down the road, Rolls Royce is gonna be the starter over Philip Lindsay, but we gotta wait for that. Josh Jacobs should be pretty solid this game with a B out there on the field. I like Josh Jacobs this game and I like Philip Lindsay. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you fucking enjoyed. I hope you have a great goddamn day. I hope everything goes amazing for you on Sunday. I hope you click on one of those videos that's on the screen because they're all so informative, so amazing. You know what I'm saying? Totally not just fucking sucking my own dick here. It is amazing. The video is going to be amazing. You love it. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. Good boy.